Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the Vanguard 81 error message inside of Valorant. So to fix this issue, we first just need to close down our Riot Games application. And to do this, you need to head over to your start menu, search for task manager and head over to the task manager window. Inside of here, just make sure the Riot client is not running on your computer just by right clicking on Riot client and selecting end task. You can also search for Riot in this search box at the top here and just make sure all references to the Riot client is shut down. Once you've done that, we're gonna close out of this window, head back over to the start menu and search for services. Click on the services window and we're gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom here and there should be a service in here called VGC. Now we just need to double click on this service, make sure the startup type is set to automatic and make sure the service status is set to running. So if it says stopped here, then just go ahead and press start. Once the service has started, we can press apply and okay to save those changes. Close out of this window and head back over to the start menu, search for run and click on the run icon. Inside of here, type in MS config and hit enter. Come over to the service services tab at the top and then we need to scroll all the way down to VGC. Make sure VGC has got a tick in it like so and then just press apply and OK. Now you'll need to restart your computer for these changes to take effect. So go ahead and do that now and then you can try launching up Valorant to see if that's fixed the issue. Now that should have solved 99% of cases but if that's still not working for you then another thing we need to do is head over to the start menu, search for Windows Defender and head over to Windows Defender Firewall. From the left hand side select allow an Apple feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on the change settings button at the top here and you'll need to to add Riot Client to this list of applications. If you already have it inside of here, like I do, then just make sure private and public are both ticked here. If you don't have the Riot Client in here, then you'll just need to add it by selecting Allow Another App, click on Browse, and then just locating the Riot Client. Once you've done that, we can close out of here, head over to the Start menu and search for Settings, click on this. From the left-hand side, come over to Network and Internet. Inside of VPN, just make sure you're not currently connected to a VPN. If you are, you can just press Disconnect over here, but as you can see I'm not currently connected to anything so we can close out of this window and once again you can check to see if that's now solved your issue otherwise the last thing we're going to do is come back over to the start menu search for CMD right click on the command prompt and run as administrator inside of here we're going to type in the command sc space delete space vgc and hit enter then type in sc space delete space vgk and hit enter and once you've got these two success messages we can close out of this window restart your computer and once your computer's restarted you'll need to come over to your file explorer come inside of your c drive scroll down to program files and inside of here, you'll have a folder called Raya Vanguard. Just right click on this folder and select the trash icon. If you get this message pop up saying that it can't be deleted, well, that's simply because it's running in the background of your computer. So what you'll need to do to fix this is just come over to your task manager window, search for VGC at the top here, right click on Vanguard and make sure to end the task. Then we can come back over to the folder and select try again. So once you've deleted the Riot Vanguard folder, you'll need to come over to your Riot client. And now when I come over to this window you can see we have the update option over here so just go ahead and select Valorant click on update and this is going to go ahead and reinstall the Vanguard application and once that's reinstalled you can then try launching Valorant and that should have now fixed your issue if this didn't work for you then let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to assist you if you did find this video useful then please consider dropping a like and subscribing until next time